And I heard an interview, right? I heard an interview some years ago from Beanie Single. He did an interview with Charlemagne, right? And he told a story about how he saved Kanye from getting robbed. You know about that? Um, yeah, I know about it. I mean, yeah, he hit me the same night when the situation with the girl, I think it might have been this chick named Sydney or some shit like that. She was they was, you know, he took her out, you know, nigga one to him. Listen, nigga run around with a Rockefeller chain on. You know what that shit do for you? your pussy, right? Boop, boop, boop. Shit, shit gone. Nigga, hey, you know what I mean? Nigga, I, nigga, I OG, nigga I had the shit off a of Dame. I want to say he had the shit off a of Dame neck. Yeah, he had the shit off a of Dame neck. So he had the shit with the Cuban in and shit. Ice shit shining. Nigga seen that man in there. was like, yo, niggas at Chelsea Diner on 23rd Street. Niggas like, hit, hit niggas with the motherfucking uh, Raekwon and Ghostface skit. Word? You know what I mean? <laughs> Just, what do we have here? You know what I mean? Um, and, um, you know, you hear me? I was, I was in Queens. I was I had to get on a train with the gun and all that shit. But, you know, fortunately, baseline wasn't but five, five blocks away. They, you know, they came over and held the nigga down, you know? I always fucked with them niggas for that shit. That shit was a real, you know, they ain't had to. You know what I'm saying? They ain't had to. Like, nigga, you already getting paid to, you know? You gotta get your own street security, nigga. But, you know, they kept, they kept a family with that nigga on that shit. Big Shun, if I'm not mistaken, you was the reason why he didn't get dropped from good music, right? I mean, just to, just, just, you know, here's the thing with the Big Sean scenario, right? Um, you know, Sean, he, Kanye met Sean on a radio stop. Um, he spit for him. You know, Sean did go through a, a little bit of a hazing, you know, with some of the other label mates. I'm not going to say who or whatever the case is, but you know, it was like, oh, he, he want to be baby Kanye and da 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 you know what I'm saying? And listen, I judge people on who they are and who they present themselves to be as me, at, at, for uh, who they present themselves to be to me, right? Um, and Sean, at that time, was cool, just wanted advice, looked at me like an OG, and um, why wouldn't he? You know what I'm saying? That was the situation. You know what I'm saying? It was like, so I'm not, you know, um, did Sean do everything perfect? No, no. But I do, I did think that me going through the heartache and heartbreak of going back to to Queens after the tribe situation, I always had empathy for anyone who had a deal being um Anyone who had they, they, who, who deal was on the line, you know what I mean? Like, there's nothing equivalent to being dropped. Like I said, it just feels like it feels like your it feels like everything that you work for is over. It it doesn't seem like there's a tomorrow, and I would never wish that on nobody. And so when that conversation was being had, um, you know, as I just had a pro artist approach to it, and I was just like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Like, what is he supposed to do after this? And I was right, because at the end of the day, you know, regardless of whatever discrepancy or whatever the fuck, whatever, you know, Sean has contributed to to the legacy, you know what I'm saying, um, as a rapper. Like, and nobody could take that from Big Sean. So that's my take on it. I don't think nobody should run on Kanye, but, for, but one, that's apples and oranges. That's my take. <laughs> I'm just saying, just, that's my take. I don't think nobody should ran on Ye, but that's apples and oranges. One, it's, there's, two, there's two different things happening here. You know what I'm saying? Like, one is, like I said, nobody can, uh, Big Sean, listen, one thing about good music like we have specialized in is having that moment, right? And Big Sean has that moment on click. You know what I'm saying? Nobody could take that from him. I'm, 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 I don't care if you tough cheeks, whatever the fuck, right? If you murked it, you did what you were supposed to do. Nobody could take away what I did on on a, a few joints. You know what I'm saying? It's just that's what it is. That's that's that that's that part. That's that's your job. Your your personal character assessment is another is another fruit bowl. Pause. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? But that that's right. you know that's where I'm at with that. Yeah, that's crazy, man. So who was the one that wanted to release Big Sean from the label? And what did he do? Kanye Kanye did. I mean, why? I don't remember in particular. I think they had an argument. I think that's what it was. They had an argument about something. And um, actually, I do remember what it was. He, Big Sean actually, 
uh, uh, made a grievance on one of his mixtapes about Kanye and not getting the attention from the label and shit like that. That's what it was, and that that was the reason. That was the reason why it was a mixtape joint that he put out, and Ye caught wind of it. Me, Ye, and Dawnsey got on the phone and had that, had, and it was a 20, 30 minute conversation. It wasn't five minutes. It was it was a conversation. And and me, Ye, and Dawn are the, you know, the think trust. We were at that time, you know what I'm saying, when it came to situations like that. Especially, you know, like, you know, because Dawn was his role manager, you know, it's me. And, you know, when we, if we ever had a problem on the road or some wild shit like that, that's, that, that you know, you know, we definitely us three, 100%.